Hi, I'm Brian Peterson with Video Maker Magazine, and I'm here to talk about the TriCaster TC40. It's a new low-cost switcher for only $49.95. For $49.95, you get an awful lot. In fact, take a look here. You can see there's a lot of inputs and a lot of output potential as well. Now, of course, I'm not sitting here in a $50,000 studio. I'm, in fact, in my 10 foot by 12 foot editing suite and you may even hear some fan noise because the TriCaster itself is only about two feet away from me. Of course, that's not an environment where you're normally going to be using this so that noise shouldn't be an issue. Let's go ahead and just walk you through what the TriCaster looks like. The first place to start is the Live View desktop. Now, one thing about Live, things happen and I'm actually doing this whole uh, review here live as well so I'm switching thinking and talking so uh, three of those things uh, may not work all at the same time let's first go over to the live view and that's on net 2 and let me walk you through the inputs first on camera 1 you can see I've got this angle right here that'll be uh, coming up later that's a uh, JVC GY HD 110U uh, outputting 720p on the component channel and if you look at the gear here, you can see you can select from a variety of different types, everything from 480i composite all the way up to 1080i component. And you also have live mat and crop ability here for setting your keys with basic spill, suppression, tolerance, and smoothness controls, and some basic garbage matting down here. On camera two, I've got an overview. Uh, this is coming from a DSLR. Let me go ahead and punch up to you and you can see what that looks like. You can see that I've got the framing in here because it is the HDMI output of a DSLR. Now, one thing to keep in mind is this is an analog only input. So I've got a converter right here taking the HDMI signal from the output of the camera going into the uh, com component output. So again, just keep in mind the TriCaster 40 works only with analog inputs. Let's go back up to uh, camera three. That is my chroma key camera. On input four, you can see I've got some footage from uh, hang gliding days. That's rolling off of, let me roll back to the overview, that's rolling off of this tape player right here. It's standard definition. Now you can see on uh, net one and net two, if I go back to the uh, net two overview of live view, you can see we've got two network inputs right here. Now that's for any network computer. On net one, I have a PowerPoint presentation on one computer. On net two, I'm actually using the internal network ability uh, to show the live desktop right here. Uh, the DDR or digital disc recorder will give us a variety of different clips that I have down here. As we can see, if we go back to the desktop, I've got all these clips to go. That's in the digital disc recorder. And graphics one, is the uh, area where we would store lower thirds and that sort of thing. Here's the area where these graphics would live down here. Graphics 2 holds different graphics. I've got uh, bars and uh, an overview of uh, some of the TriCaster components. Of course, black is always uh, a good one. And then the virtual sets, V1 through 4. You can pre-configure your virtual sets. If you drop down here, you can see this is an actual separate internal virtual set switcher where you can set up your overlays, your graphics, uh, and everything with your input A and B. This allows for all sorts of different types of switching. You can have uh, picture in picture. You can have two shots, one shots. Uh, neat thing about the ability of the sets right here, the virtual sets, and I'll go back to V1 and show you what that would look like. Um, I can zoom back out very slow. I can change the rate of those zooms. Uh, I can do picture in picture like you saw here. Uh, the two shots. Uh, very powerful to do this live and to have the, uh, the talent on one camera synced with the moves. Uh, incredible for this price point. Normally you would see this in a much more expensive type of switcher. Let's go back to the uh, live desk view and uh, finish out our tour here. This is where all the fun happens. We have our program and preview buttons. Uh, like any switcher, you would want to preview down below, and this is your preview monitor. Here's your program or whatever is live. So if we wanted to preview uh, one, this is what's going to be ready when I hit the take or auto button. Let's go ahead and hit take. You'll see it's a cut. And if we go back, we're going to go back to the live desktop on net two. If I hit auto, it's going to be a pre-programmed fade. 
Same thing with uh, any of the graphics or the uh, digital uh, disc recorders. Neat thing about the DDR is that these play automatically just in time. So there's a little pre-roll if you want to do a fade. Watch this. So I'm going from the live desktop. I'm going to go to an ocean scene here. Just by hitting auto and making sure that auto play is selected down here, this will roll just in time to have that take happen. Look at how beautiful and smooth that is. That's no small feat. Normally it would take another, cam or another operator to pre-roll the video and get it right to the right spot. Now, what just happened there? That, that was rather interesting. Let me uh, talk to you here about that. What happened there was that I forgot to switch back in time. Well, the TriCaster's smart enough to know that, oops, something's going on, so I'm going to dissolve gracefully back to where I just was. A nice way to kind of save your butt. Now, let's take a look at what we also have here in terms of the recording. We can record directly to a uh, QuickTime file or an MP4. Uh, we're recording to a QuickTime right now. We can stream live. I can't show you that in real time right here. And you can also grab the uh, video as well. Here are the two downstream keyers uh, available. These downstream keyers allow you to uh, uh, key any graphic that you have uh, noted here, not just graphic one or graphic two. You can key over any of the other inputs as well just by selecting graphic one and then using the T-handle, I can see I'm using the graphic that was already selected in graphic one, which is my lower third. Take it out. So you've got a lot of power right here. Now, finally, let's take a look at the audio mixer. Now, uh, going back to uh, one, camera one, you can see behind me, I've got a external audio mixer. I'm actually connected that to my iPad. My iPad has some music on it. Now I can show you if uh, I just hit play on the iPad and I've got this on input one. Bring that up nice and gracefully. You can see that yeah, I've got some music going under, under the bed there. Uh, if you wanted to be very elaborate with your audio mix, you would want to use this versus just the stereo input on the TriCaster. It really is meant to work with an external uh, audio mixer, no doubt about it. All right, let's go back. To one last look at the, uh, the live desktop here. Uh, finally, oh, under audio, you have that master and a streaming uh, fader as well. Some basic controls, everything from uh, audio following. Uh, you have the ability to click into mono and solo, which means it will be muting automatically all the others. Some very basic audio controls here. All right, so that is it. That's the TriCaster 40. If you want more information, please check out our review uh, at videomaker.com. You'll find out more information online. And uh, if you are in the uh, market for a good low-cost switcher, one that will just <laughs> wow your friends, family, and hopefully your boss, take a look at the TriCaster TC40.